It's Thursday, which means we're thinking like entrepreneurs, and today we're gonna to talk about mentors. Talking about, do you need one, and how exactly do you go about finding one? Hey, it's Aaron Smith, owner and founder of the Entrepreneur Summit and the Starters Club, and welcome to another episode of Think Like an Entrepreneur Thursday, where we discuss the mindset shift of going from an employee to an entrepreneur. Today, I wanna to talk about mentors because we hear about it all the time. Get yourself a mentor, get yourself a mentor. And I even talk about it in my 30-day program to get a mentor as part of your team, even if it's not a direct mentor helping you, but somebody you can emulate and who is where you want to be. So we're gonna to talk today about, do you need a mentor first of all? And secondly, if you want one, how do you go about finding one? So mentorship. Now there's mentors and there's coaches and mentors are really more of a guide for you. Somebody you can ping ideas off of, somebody who will guide you down a path, but not really specifically tell you what to do where a coach is gonna be that hand holding someone that you pay, someone that takes you, you know, week by week, month by month, whatever that is, and helping you get out of your own way. A mentor is really gonna be the one to guide you with your business, give you some advice here and there, but not hold your hand through it all. Now, a great person to look for is, like I said, somebody maybe in the same industry as you, a similar industry, but who has that experience, somebody that you just love to ask questions to, like, do I go route A or route B, or, you know, really kind of get that guidance. And mentors, a lot of times, if you're gonna go after one, they're people who have had massive success. So their time is limited. And I've talked to a lot of people in the sense that I've been, you know, reached out to too about, hey, can you mentor me? And I'm so careful of my time. And I've asked them, you know, I've helped some people, but I've helped them and I get really frustrated because I help them and then they don't do anything. And they're like, you have to qualify the people that you're mentoring. So you have to be prepared for this if you're going to seek a mentor. They will be willing to help you, but you have to be serious. You can't just go in and say, hey, I want you to mentor me. You sit down, you waste their time for lunch and then don't do anything. They will love to have the protégés. They will love to have the people that they actually see accomplish things, but the worst thing you're gonna be able to do is waste their time. So you have to be ready to hear advice, listen to what they're gonna say, implement some things if it makes sense for you, but not just be a know-it-all and not be somebody who's like, yeah, I need this, and then you're gonna talk yourself out of starting a business in two minutes. You have to be serious. So reach out to them, see if you can take them out to lunch, buy them lunch or buy them coffee, whatever that is, or even get on a quick phone call and explain who you are and what you're seeking and what you'd love. And remember, this is a two-way street. Is there anything you can offer to them or help them out on if they take the time to just answer some questions for you? And how, how is that relationship going further? Be prepared for some sort of test. And I don't mean like a written long-term test, but they may have you do a few things before they even begin to work with you. Be ready for that. Because again, they're not gonna waste their time with someone who's not serious. So will it be, if they give you some things to do, you better be ready to do them and show them that you're serious about this business and serious make, about making changes and serious about getting advice. So very simple things. Find your hit, you know, find a few people who, again, not where they are, right? You're not on the same playing field now. They're ahead of you. Somebody that you're not gonna need to talk to on a daily, weekly, sometimes even monthly basis. Just somebody you can reach out to you know, every few months to ask certain questions. Uh, maybe take to lunch here and there. But again, this is not gonna be a relationship for you that you're, they need, if you need your hand held, a mentor is not somebody who's gonna do that for you. Also be prepared to, as I mentioned, go and do actually what they're saying. If you're a know-it-all, if you're not gonna listen, they're not gonna waste their time on you, so be prepared for that. So it's really not as hard as it seems. If you're not ready to actually reach out and make that phone call yet, find a few people who you really look up to, who may be like way ahead of you, but start studying what they've done, start studying how they did it, start studying the decisions they made, and then in a couple years, maybe in a couple months, you'll be ready to reach out to somebody of that caliber and have them help you. So don't, it's, I think mentors are, are incredible. I think they're very important. I think it's great because sometimes as entrepreneurs, it can be so lonely where you are and you know, there's the peers and then there's people ahead of you that can really help you kind of get out of your own way, 
see what you need to do next and, and make the path a bit more clearer for you, which is incredible for building your business. Uh, but find the right ones and just be willing to make the right moves to grow your business. So as always, thank you so much for watching. If you're starting or building your business, make sure you visit over at thestartersclub.com. We've got some great resources for you. Can't talk today to help you do that. And also make sure you subscribe to our channel where we're here every Thursday thinking like entrepreneurs and we also offer more videos to help you grow your business.